Hey guys, the car scene here coming at you with another video. Today we're checking out this 2022 Nissan Frontier in person. So looking at the front end styling of this truck, this truck took a lot of its styling from the older brother, the Titan. Uh, you can see that with the kind of T-shaped style grille, but it's also still a V-motion. Um, and it's very muscular, very good looking. You can see even here on this SV, which isn't even like the super off-roady trim, that'd be the Pro 4X. You don't have too much of a chin spoiler, but still enough to give you good aerodynamics for good fuel economy. Uh, this one does have halogen fog lights as well as halogen headlights with reflector um, turn signals. Looking across the front, we do have our Frontier badge right across the top with our new Nissan badge, which for those of you who don't know, Nissan has a new badge and it looks like this. And moving on down the side of the vehicle, you can see on the side, very sculpted. Honestly, the cab shape stayed exactly the same, but now you have these nice big muscular fenders coming off of the front and the rear. Working our way down the side of the vehicle, you can see we've got some Michelins on here. Uh, I believe these are 17 inch wheels. They're looking pretty good. We do have a full size spare underneath the truck as well as our tow hitch. Looking at the rear end, you can see we have a class five receiver hitch. This thing is able to tow 6,800 pounds, as well as our Frontier is stamped into the tailgate along the bottom here in body color. You can get fill-ins for that with our new Nissan badge. And like I said, this is an SV trim, so we have SV badging. Looking at our tailgate, oh, it actually is power lockable this year. So you can see here's our key fob, regular Nissan intelligent key. Let's unlock it. Oops, it might be, there we go. Yep, power unlock. It is damped this year. This is new for 2022. They didn't have this before. This one does have the spray in bed liner with the Utilitrack. They also added a 110 outlet, which the Frontier did not have before, but now it has it. I'm um, looking at our tailgate. It's got a plastic cover. It is ribbed. Very nice. We do have LED lighting in the bed as well as lighting on the back of the cab. And speaking of our taillights, actually, we do have LED taillights um, with reflector turn signals and reflector reverse lights. So looking at the overall side profile of the truck, it's a very clean looking, very good looking truck. Let's step into the back seats and see the room. Guys, climbing into the rear seat real quick, I did want to note this does still have a capped fuel fill, no capless fuel fill on the Frontier yet. Climbing into the back, you can see our rear doors, pretty basic, but they are revamped. We've got soft touch at the elbows, a uh, handle in the middle with storage down below for a cup holder and some other stuff. You do have power, mirror, or power windows back here and the whole window actually rolls down. We don't have that little half window anymore like we did on the old one. Looking at the seats, they are cloth you can get leatherette if you upgrade uh, looking at the base they do fold up it actually is a two-handed job so you get the lever on the elbow or le lever right here and then storage right here these are nice little cubbies um, and then folding it down is pull it fold it down and then you can also fold the seat forward for storage behind climbing into the rear seats seated at 5'9 with the front seat adjusted behind myself we do have room at the knees uh, room at the feet um, wouldn't want to be over six foot in the rear seat but it is pretty comfy Storage on the back of the driver's seat. 110 outlet back here, as well as two USBs, a C and a 2.0. Storage in the passenger seat. And nice headroom back here. Um, like I said, if you were over six foot, it'd be a squeeze, but it's not in this case. Looking here, we do have a manually sliding rear window, no power yet, and lights back here, which is really nice. Um, so you can adjust those. Let's go ahead up front and show you that nice, new, amazing front seating area. Okay, climbing into the front seats, you can see our door panel is exactly the same as it was in the back with the soft touch of the elbow, power windows, power locks, power mirrors, storage down below with this nice little metallic accent piece. Climbing inside, you can see looking at the left-hand side, traction control, cargo lamp, uh, sounds for our Safety Shield 360 as well as our power inverter switch with our tow haul mode, which is new, and our interior lighting. Let's climb inside, start this bad boy up, and check out these gauges and infotainment. So just like every other Nissan, foot on the brake, push the start button, key in the pocket. She starts right up. Uh, looking at our center stack, it's got our nice Frontier uh, gauges that come up. You can see we've got 310 miles on this one, or 310 miles of range on this one, 11 miles on the actual truck. Ta uh, tack on the left, speedo on the right. We do have coolant down here. And going through our center screen, let's check out our steering wheel real quick and I'll show you all of its buttons and stuff. So looking over here, you can see we've got our cruise control settings with our adaptive cruise, and then over here is our radio settings with our center screen controls. So looking over here, or we're gonna use our left and our right, we've got our off-road gauges, auxiliary gauges, which is gonna show our transmission temperature and our voltage. 
we've got our, or is that more auxiliary gauges? Yep, so that's gonna be oil pressure and oil temperature. Driving, which you can see, fuel economy, which you can see, Series XM. Driving aids, which is gonna be our Safety Shield 360, and our tire pressure for each tire, and our settings. And you can scroll through and toggle through all that. Looking at our center screen, this is an eight inch. You can get up to a nine inch. It's very nice. Um, it's what they use on all their other stuff. Um, you can see we actually do have a camera system on here. Let me see if we can enable it without going into reverse. Let's go into reverse anyway and see what we got. So yeah, there's our reverse camera. You can see we've got the van back there. It's looking pretty good. Um, we do have our shifter in the middle here. Looking right below that, I'll go over our dual zone climate. You can automatically set that for each zone. Heated steering wheel in here, heated seats in here, USB-C, USB, USB 2.0 with that nice little storage nook. Two cup holders, shifter, another storage nook, and then underneath our center console, you can see we've got a ton of storage in here. You can really get in there for that center console storage and a 12 volt. Looking at the top, it's a nice leatherette, kind of plasticky material, which is gonna be super durable and last a long time. We do have storage up on the dash for a phone or a GPS or whatever. And we also have a nice big glove box. I love the stitching they put on the dash. It really brings the overall interior up. Um, looking at our sun visors, I actually don't wanna do the sun visor because it's still wrapped in plastic, so we won't do that yet. But yeah, um, that's the interior. Let's go check out under the hood. So under the hood of our 2022 Nissan Frontier, we have a 3.8 liter V6, 310 horsepower, 285 pound foot of torque matched to a nine speed. We've actually had this drivetrain in the past two generations. Um, the only thing that I really wanna note under here in terms of maintenance that's different from a lot of the other trucks on this channel is we do have a separate power steering reservoir. A lot of trucks have moved over to a closed unit electric powered one. This one still has the old pump that runs on the serpentine belt. And they did that for driving feel so that you'd have good feedback. Washer fluid, coolant, battery, um, this is going to be your radiator top off here, but you shouldn't have to worry about that because you have the uh, reservoir. Dipstick, oil fill on top, brake fluid over here, as well as our air intake. And that's it for the engine. Overall, as it sits, this truck is at $36,000. Um, I definitely think that this truck is worth it and that Nissan is bringing a lot of value, especially in comparison to the competitors. Um, overall, I really love the truck. I love the way it looks. I love what they've done with the, the design. They've kept all the things that made the Frontier the Frontier, like it being small, it being body on frame, without taking away from it. And they really uh, just offered a great truck in this package. Like I said, I definitely think this is worth your hard-earned cash. I also would suggest you wait a year just so that if there's any recalls or kinks that they can work out, that they get worked out before it's too late in your case. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and let us know what you want to see in the future. Thanks for watching, guys.